Hello, Jules. This is going to be a recording today. Sorry, I can't do it live, but I do have to work today, so I have to do this kind of quickly. Um, since I missed day three, and we're going to be coming up on day four, um, I guess this is going to be a recording. So let's get into it. So we are going to be coming in from our big book of uh, Advent envelopes. And so for today, day three, as a catch-up, we are going to be doing day three, and we are going to be doing, where is day four? Day four. All right, so here we go. So for day three is going to be our little clue. It says, it is snowing. It can't be. I'm puzzled how Santa will be able to see to find me. Hmm. I'm puzzled. I wonder what we could be doing today. Hmm. Hmm. So this is going to be day three and we'll get to day four after we finish that project. This is going to probably be a slightly longer one. I'm trying to keep my videos under an hour. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. So, day three, let's see, let's pour this out because there's a bunch on here. So, looks like we got a bunch of puzzle pieces here. Let's see. I went ahead and pre-gessoed, not gessoed, but uh, I chalk painted these, so they're going to be white. So, we're going to have a bunch of puzzle pieces. And we are going to be making a snowflake with these puzzle pieces. So all of them are white and ready to go. Let's see. Got to choose the best one. And so we've also got some chipboard. So this is going to be our base to our snowflake. Some of these out of the way, and I've also got my glue gun heating. Yay, go me! I got a ribbon for the for the hanging part. It's a pretty silver piece. Let's put that to the side, and let's go ahead and let's cut us up a circle. It's not going to be pretty. Not going to be pretty at all, I promise. It's just something for the base to hold on to. All right, so what we've got is our glue gun. So we're going to start. I'm going to start with a piece in the center. Okay, so here we're going to start going out. This will stick. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Let's squeeze that out. Squeeze the excess glue out. Extend these out. And this was just an old junk uh, puzzle that I had that I used for crafting for small pieces.
And let's see. Let's go and start right here. Hopefully these turn out cute as I want them to be. Lots of glue strings, but don't worry about that. Glue strings are a part of it and it gives it texture, right? This is something that you could do if you've got an old puzzle that you're not working anymore and you've lost a couple pieces. Just put it in a bag and use it as your crafting stash. I don't forgot. Right. And look how cute that turns out to look like. Just using puzzle pieces and a little bit of paint and glue. All right. We've got that one. We're going to make two. I think we've got enough for one more. Cut us out another circle. Okay, there's just another circle, so we're going to start again. Start in the center. If it's so quiet, I enjoy the quiet time that I have. Oh, she's still wet. Simple and quick, easy, easy peasies. Oh, and she stuck to me.
lot of glue. One more to each one. And the last one. I think it's adorable. Look at how cute. There you go. So we've got that. So we've still got some puzzle pieces left. We may use them in a different project, but I am going to actually go and get some glitter. I have some Glitterific by Folk Art. I'm going to see if it'll spread on here. I can find a paintbrush. Should have been prepared, right? I have one right here. That's all right. Let's put that one to the side and let it finish drying. And so what we're going to do is we're going to glitterific this up. It has been so cold in these rooms. Look at all that. gunk on the side. Alright, let me see if I can get in here and get some of this. I don't know if it's going to allow me to do it. It may have already dried up, but hey, we're going to make it work. I'm going to glitterify. Glitterific these. Should have put the string on the back first before I did this because it's going to take a minute for these to dry. And what I'll do to seal all this, I have some matte medium that I'll uh, coat over top of this to make it seal and that way that glitter doesn't come off. Big, huge glitter chunk. Just as simple as that, you can make a cute little tree ornament. For years to come. Put my finger down on it. I'm trying to put a chunk of it there in the center way it hides all that glue. And there you go. Look at that. cute little Christmas ornament. You can take some white paint and fill in that or if you've got some white chipboard you can do it that way as well. So we've got that. Quick and easy snowflake from Puzzle Pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Brush of glitter. Get off the brush. I've got it piled up on the brush handle.
simple as that, quick and easy, cute little ornaments. All right, we got that almost done. And that almost concludes day three. I'm going to clip a little bit of ribbon for this and we'll glue it on the back. You can make your ribbon a little bit smaller than mine. I misjudged, but at least it'll hang. Uh oh, I glued it on backwards. God, oh, you should have warned me. At least it'll be nice, nice and sticky. All right, so we've got our first cute little snowflake Christmas ornament. Do it again. That one's smaller. That's okay. There we go. I now did it again, guys. Oh. And a little glue can't hurt. I'm a little messy today. There we go. And our next one. Cute as a little button. Alright, so that concludes day three of our advent calendar uh, puzzle piece day. <laughs> Sorry, I got tongue tied. All right, so later on I will do a matte medium cover on that. Let's clean our little mess up because we're going to start day four. Less than 20 minute project you can do, unless you're going to sit there and paint every one of those uh, puzzle pieces right as you do it. Okay, so day four, let's see. All right, so day four, I had to make sure I got the right envelopes, I had to set them aside. So day four is here. So let's see what it says. It says, lots of ornaments I can hold. Let's, think, let's make something for them to shine onto and be bold. Hmm, I wonder what that will be. I wonder what ingredients that we have today. Simple things that you can probably find in your stash that you already have. Get that back in there. All right, so let's see what day four is. That's kind of heavy. All right, so what we have in here, we have wire. Hmm. We have, ooh, we have bells. We have silver and gold uh, pony beads. Bells. We've got a little um, a little hook. I can't remember what they're called. Ball hook, right? A ball hook. And we have a piece of ribbon. I think I've got the wrong one. Hmm. And a piece of uh, red and white twine. I think I've got the wrong project. I think we got it mixed up. 
not sure. Yeah, I think I've got the wrong project in the wrong bag, but you know what? I can fix that. I can definitely fix that because I've got ribbon over here. I definitely got those mixed up, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. All right, so I'm going to use that same silver ribbon. Hopefully, it'll work. Um, I need something sharp. Something sharp. Do I have something sharp? Not in that container. I need my pokey tool. Where's my pokey tool? Maybe this will be sharp enough to go through it. Let's try it. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut a piece of wire. Don't use your regular scissors, guys, because it'll mess your scissors up. But I've got, I've got quite a few. I've got quite a few things here I can use to cut. These are just garbage pair of scissors. <laughs> Those I've lost all my ones. Go figure. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small paintbrush end and I'm going to curl this over. I'm going to make a small little hook at the bottom. Use a pair of pliers if you've got them. If you don't, the paintbrush handle will work. Okay, now. This is going to be for the top, and I'm going to I'm going to lace this through the top, the ball the ball hook, right there through the top. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, so what we're going to do with this ribbon, I'm going to leave it on the roll, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've already poked a hole in the top just to see if it will go through, and we're going to lace that through the top. We need to put it on the opposite side. I think we might put the pretty on the top. Okay, what I'm going to attempt to do is we're going to open these beads up and we're going to put one in between each wrap. Okay, I'm going to start out with gold. And I'm going to put that on the wire. And then I'm going to make a little loop at the top. I'm going to poke that through. Hang on. Make a small little hole there. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do the holes first, and then we'll add the beads. It's a little tedious. And I'm just going to slowly make these little loops as I go uh, back down. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. Guess what we're making? We are making a ribbon Christmas tree. With wire. Pony beads and little bells. I'm getting glitter everywhere, guys, but hey, it ain't Christmas if we didn't have glitter, right?
Okay. There we go. Can get most of this stuff at the Dollar Tree except for the wire. Okay, I think this might be our last loop. We don't want them too big. Alright, so I'm going to snip it right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back down and take these off and hopefully we'll be able to find the holes. And then we are going to start from the beginning and lace our little beads on. Gold. Silver. And you can use glass beads. You can use any type of things that you would like to for these. You can even use needle and thread to do this as well. may not be the perfect Christmas ornament, but hey, everybody has their, their favorites. I think it's going to look cute. And the last one here, here. Gold. Right, so I'm gonna push this up and show you. See how cute that is? Cute little Christmas tree from wire. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this a bit. I'm going to make a drop. Hopefully this works. Alright. Show. We have our cute little Christmas tree. It may be unproportionate, but hey, I think it's kind of cute. All right, so what I'm going to do is maybe I can add this to the bottom for our jingle bells. It too. Yep, it'll fit too. We're going to load that up right here at the bottom. There we go. Let me go get another little Our little hanger. I'm going to put some ribbon through. Right. Here's some cute little ribbon here. So I'm going to lace that through and tie a knot.
So we have our cute little Christmas tree ornament made from ribbons, beads, wire, and a few cute little bells. And if you have kitty cats that like to play in your tree, those little bells will be a warning that they're playing in the tree. Look at that. So day four, complete. I forgot that I used, was going to use that for that, but we'll use it on another one. But there you go. Simple, simple, simple things. All you need is take a trip to the Dollar Tree, and you'll be able to find most of these items there. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. And I hope you enjoyed today's crafts. Um, I want to leave you with a with a poem from our Book of Virtues by William J. Bennett. I have actually chosen one today from Loyalty, the discussion of loyalty. And so, and this one is is a poem. It's called "Only a Dad" by Edgar Guest. Um, there's a little quotation underneath it. It says, "We should not forget to sing praises for devoted fathers, especially our own." This Edgar Guest poem may help us remember that the only reward a devoted father seeks is his family's flourishing. And may we never forget, as Shakespeare's King Lear told us, how sharper than a ser serpent's tooth is to have a thankless child. Okay, it says, Only a dad with a tired face, coming home from the daily race, bringing little of gold to fame or fame to show how well he played the game, but glad in his heart that his own rejoice to see him come and hear and to hear his voice. Only a dad with a brood of four one of ten million men or more, plodding along in the daily strife, bearing the whips and the scorns of life, with never a whimper of pain or hate, for the sake of those who at home await. Only a dad, neither rich nor proud, merely one of the surging crowd, toiling, striving from the day to day, facing whatever may come his way, silent whenever the harsh condemn, and bearing it all for the love of them. Only a dad, but he gives his all to smooth the way, to smooth the way for his children small, doing with courage, stern and grim, the deeds that his father did for him. This is the line that for him I pen, only a dad, but the best of men. Guys, cherish your fathers as long as you have them. I know some of us don't have our fathers anymore, but we cherish the memories that we have of them, and we still remember the teachings that our father told us, especially mine. He taught me a lot and he taught me how to bear bear life and all of its all of its toys and toils and tribulations and all the trials that the life will give us. He tried to teach us the way to rightly do things. We may do things wrong, but you know in our minds that we still have the stories and the the lessons that our fathers told us. So Jules, please hug your father's necks, tell them you love them, be with them as much as you can because their time is not forever. It's only limited, but we we learn every we learn every we learn something every day from our fathers. We learn to love, we learn to cherish everything. We learn the lessons that life gives us and he tries to teach us every day. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. And I am thankful for you to come in to watch the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And please hit that like button. Please hit the thumbs up and leave me a kind comment below. Until then, I will see you again on the next video or stream. I love you guys.